Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we are going to take a look at the final of these newest Savage Strike figures that have just recently hit stores here in the United States. This time we have the Stiggy Moloch, and you can see sporting a very different paint scheme than many of the previous Stiggy Moloch's. This one is uh, quite the leap, I would say, as far as the coloration goes. The other ones all had a, at least a similar look. This one's very different in comparison to the previous figures, and I actually quite like that because it's nice to see a different look for the figure so it doesn't get stale. And then here on the back, as usual, we have the typical Camp Cretaceous artwork. We have an image of the other Savage Strike figures in the line, an image of what the action feature is for the Stiggy Moloch, as well as a kind of a sneak peek of that art booklet deal in there. So, really cool looking as always. Let's break this figure out of the box and take a look at it. So, here is our newest version of the Stiggy Moloch out of the package. And I know what you're thinking. There's not really much difference because it's actually the exact angle that the figure was in in the package. So, we'll turn it around. At least give you a slightly different angle at this point in time. But again, really nice looking coloration for the figure. I'm quite happy with the overall appearance of it. Again, the... Uh, most recent Savage Strikes have all had really nice coloration on them as far as I'm concerned. I was a big fan of the Plesiosaurus. Again, maybe the best Plesiosaurus that we've had so far. I was also a big fan of the Monolophosaurus. Beautiful paint application on that one. And now this one as well looks really quite nice. So they have provided us with a pretty nice trend of nice looking paint schemes on the newest wave of figures here. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at it. So of course, at this point, we've reviewed the Stiggy Moloch numerous times we've reviewed every version I believe so far so we don't really need to take a look at the sculpt or anything because there doesn't appear to be anything new with the actual sculpt of the figure basically what we need to look at is what's new and on this one it's pretty much just the paint application it seems there's no type of new action feature or anything so it's just the paint application which as we can see again looks quite nice here on the head of the Stiggy Moloch we have a very nice kind of like a very dark maroon almost like a bordering a maroonish brown type coloration that kind of leaks all throughout the face right there and then you have this very dark gray that kind of leaks up into that maroonish coloration and it looks really quite cool the way that they've done that you can also see kind of like a greenish coloration there for the beak of the Stiggy Moloch which looks quite nice the head has kind of a glossy appearance to it though which I'm not a big fan of I don't know why they would have added that kind of gloss coat Mattel does do that from time to time where they'll just add like a really random gloss coat like they did to the face of the Ali Aramis and stuff and I'm not always a big fan of it somehow it actually did look good on the Ali Aramis but not so much as far as this sticky mullet goes although it does at least help for the gray coloration to stand out a bit more because it seems as though the maroon does not have a gloss coat but the gray up here on the face does I don't know if they did that just because the coloration was so dark as far as both of the tones so they wanted to kind of make that gray stand out a bit more in the face area and that might be the reason behind it but personally I'm not a huge fan of that. As we move up here onto the top you can see that the dome skull is quite nicely painted as well as usual you can see some beautiful detailing and you can see the spikes here on the back of the head are also painted with kind of like a white it's like a really bright white actually and uh, that's nice to see as well providing even more color variation for the Stiggy Moloch and you can see the eyes are painted with a yellow and given a beautiful black pupil which is now three for three as far as these figures go and adding in the black pupil which is something that Mattel used to really not do and again this would have been another perfect chance for them to kind of take the similar route that they were kind of going with before where they could have just used that coloration as far as like that dark maroon as the pupil but they've chosen to give it a black pupil which I think is a way better decision and definitely makes the figure look quite nice overall and you can see that the head and everything looks great over here both eyes are quite nicely placed which is something that is always a concern when it comes to Mattel figures so that's also a huge plus as far as the placement of the eyes go really really nice paintwork it seems as we start to move down here into the neck you can continue to see that kind of maroonish coloration sort of stripe and design all over the neck and kind of intertwine with that gray again it does look glossy as far as the gray goes and then once we move down here into the body you can now see a lighter gray kind of takeover and it mixes sort of with the darker gray as you can see the darker gray up here kind of creeping through in a few spots and you can also see it kind of creep through around the hip region as well and then here on the underside also and you can see that lighter gray actually runs out onto the tail as well 
So I think the coloration is really nicely done and it's nice to see kind of alternate paint out here onto the tail. Really nice as far as like giving basically the entire body kind of a paint application because often they'll use like one solid tone of color and then they'll have like stripes or something coming down and then maybe a little hint of like a light coloration here on the stomach region and then nothing really out on the tail. But here you can kind of see like the coloration is just mixed together so it does actually look like there's some nice paint application out on the tail which I really do quite like and also there is the Jurassic Facts app code if you would like to add this figure to your collection but honestly I think the figure looks great there's not really anything else going on as far as paint application that you can really take note of or that I take note of there's nothing as far as nail paint unfortunately I don't really even see any of those trademark kind of Mattel speckles but it looks really really good if you ask me and definitely a breath of fresh air as far as the Stiggy Mullet goes. So as far as articulation, we have head articulation right here. The head's on a swivel, so we can turn that head all over the place quite nicely. We also have arm articulation, so the arms can move forward and back. They can also move out away from the body, which is really nice articulation for the arms. And then as far as the legs go, you also have articulation front and back. And you also have articulation in the tail, but that's because that activates the action feature which you can now see is pretty much that perfect action feature for a dinosaur like a Stiggy Moloch. And then, as far as a size goes, for a length you are looking at, if we go from the snout, he fell over, if we go from the snout to the tail about six and a half inches, or about 16 and a half centimeters, somewhere around there, and then for a height to the top of those kind of horns there, you're looking at just a little under three and a half inches or about the 18 and a half centimeter range closing in on 19 centimeters for a size comparison there is mr pabo t-rex the attack pack Globosaurus, and robert muldoon from the metal jurassic world toy line next to our stiggy moloch and you can definitely see that as far as the stiggy moloch goes again with the fact that the sculpt hasn't changed neither has the size it's still pretty much exactly the same exactly the same as it was prior to this release and you should probably be able to tell again what the size is in comparison to these figures right here and then here are all three of the newest wave of savage strike figures of course not including the velociraptor because that's one we already have had before that's nothing new it's a re-release but you can see these three are definitely new figures as far as the paint application goes and i absolutely love each and every one of them so this newest version of the savage strike stiggy moloch from mattel for the jurassic world camp cretaceous toy line is a really nice looking figure again i'm really happy that they've really switched the paint application up the paint scheme on this one quite a bit in comparison to the previous releases because although the last kind of uh, Savage Strike Stiggy Moloch did have a little bit of a different look in comparison to the previous ones it was still fairly similar overall so it kind of looked like it belonged in that group but now we have kind of a very different look for the Stiggy Moloch so it's really refreshing now to have something so different and so appealing looking as far as the paint scheme goes and again just keeping the sculpt kind of fresh because the sculpt although absolutely beautiful overloaded with detail and very nice and highly detailed is something that we've had numerous times at this point so if you keep re-releasing the same figure with paint schemes that are very similar eventually it's going to get quite stale and although some people may think that the repaints from Mattel are stale personally I am not one of those guys. I love repaints. I love alternate versions of figures that I already have. So I always welcome new repaints from Mattel with open arms. And especially when you get something like this with the Stiggy Moloch that has a really nice and very unique looking paint scheme. And overall, I think Mattel did a fantastic job with the paint scheme on this one. Because although most of the tones of color are nice and dark on it, it looks really cool. And I like the fact that they've added so much coloration with like all the way out under the tail with that lighter gray and the darker gray and how they just kind of all blend back and forth together in a very nice very realistic fashion and then that very nice dark maroon up on the face and neck region just to add a little bit of flashiness but yet with dark tones and uh, overall I think they really really did a great job as far as the actual paint scheme and paint application the only minor nitpick would be that kind of glossy look to the face and neck and the grays but that's just a very minor thing and I feel like it doesn't really take away from the figure much at all if at all and uh, again, really beautiful as far as the paint scheme goes, as well as the paint application. And they've done a great job as far as actually carefully painting the figure with areas like the eyes where we often get kind of quality control issues. That is not the case with any of these newest Savage Strike figures that I have here. So 
As far as this Stiggy Mollet goes, another really nice figure from Mattel, and definitely a recommendation from me. So make sure you head to your local Target or Walmart, because I hear they are starting to come into stock now at Walmart, and make sure you pick this up. Otherwise, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.